Hi readers, for this lesson, we're going to be connecting ideas to form theories in larger interpretations and in texts. So I suggest opening up your Google Keeps or maybe looking through the post-its you've left for yourself in your book or just some notes you've been taking about your book. Open those up, look them over, you're going to want them for this lesson. So today I want to teach you that readers will link ideas together to build larger theories. They do this by asking themselves a few questions. They look over their ideas, their jots, and they ask, do some of these ideas fit together? Could there be a larger truth or theme here? And then they use this to build a larger theory or interpretation about the story. Let me quickly show you how I do this. So I've been reading this, this book called Turtles All the Way Down with some of my friends in my own book club. And every time that I'm getting ready for our book club discussions, I always take notes knowing that I have to bring something that maybe could turn into a big discussion. I want to be collecting ideas that could be really interesting for other people to talk about. So as I read, I take notes. You can see a lot of the notes I take. But this time, knowing that I was going to have a book club meeting pretty soon, I tried to take notes in a really special way, thinking that maybe I could build some larger interpretations. So let me show you exactly how I did this. So I've been taking notes, and I'm gonna pull some of them out, ones that maybe stuck with me the most, things that I feel like were pretty interesting, unique about the character. Maybe you're thinking about something else, like another story element, like setting or problem solutions. I pulled some of them out and <clears throat> I think I'd have a pretty good start because these are all to me pretty interesting, but I want to take it to the next level and maybe you can help me do that. So I'm, I'm going to look over my jots and ask myself these two questions. All right, Aza is really quiet in the cafeteria. She eats lunch with her BFFs, but let's, but let's them do all the talking. So that's one jot I had as I was reading. Another thing I thought was pretty interesting was Aza is so different with her mom. She speaks her mind. I'm so happy that she has her mom at school with her. And so it was really interesting, the story, to see her go from the cafeteria with her friends where she's super quiet to her mom's classroom where she's really talkative and honest. And then this was crazy. Later on in the story, she kisses a boy, which is just so unlike her. She barely ever talks to anyone at all, and she just went for it. Clearly, Davis has a really important effect on her, or big effect on her, in a good way, I think. So now, maybe you can help me with this big step before my book club meeting. Now that I'm looking at all my jots, I want to ask, do some of these ideas fit together? So let me, let me try this out. Okay. Well, one thing that all these jots have in common is that they're about characters and how she acts with different characters. So maybe a larger idea could be that she has different versions of herself. Hmm. So then what could be a theme, like a big understanding of the story? Maybe the story is trying to teach us that um, you know, people are more than one way, especially depending on the relationships they have. Hmm. Let me see if I can go a bit deeper. What is something that these ideas maybe are doing for each other or not? Like, are they helping each other or supporting each other? Are they not? Let me see. So she's different with her friends and then she's, then she's with her mom and then she's with this boy that she likes. One thing that I'm thinking about now is how these friends have been in her life for a long time, but I don't know if there's a lot of evidence in the story so far that she's like her best self with them. She seems like she's best with this new person she meets, Davis, and also her mom. So maybe in the story, Aza's kind of realizing that you kind of can grow out of friends and certain friends will serve certain purposes in your life. So then, okay, could there be a larger truth here, a theme for other people? Maybe something I could bring to other stories? Maybe the theme here could be that in life, sometimes friends come into our lives for a reason. Um, sometimes they stay for a long time and sometimes we grow out of them too. Let me see if I can refine it. What could it be a really clear lesson? Hmm. So maybe this story is trying to teach us that sometimes we grow out of friendships and that's okay. Or sometimes we grow out of relationships and that's okay. Do you see how I went from looking at all the ideas in my book to then picking out a few that felt super interesting, to then asking myself some questions to really pull out a deeper inter interpretation or theme of the story. I want you to follow these steps. Look at your jots, or as you, as you jot today, start to think about collecting jots to do the same work. 
look over your dots, collect your dots, then ask yourself these two big questions and see if you can bring a big theme or interpretation to your book club today. I can't wait to see what you do. It's going to be great.